Good morning. It rained all night, but uh, with my little setup here, it worked out just fine. Uh, I stayed dry. It's just after six and the rain has let up just like the weather said. So it's supposed to be cloudy today. So I'm just gonna pack up, trying to keep everything as dry as possible and then head into town to get some supplies because all I have is a few apples and a little bit of water. And then we'll head on back and try and conquer England's highest peak. One last look, didn't forget nothing. All right, we're off. We got a little double plug there, right down there, so I could charge the phone and one other item. Right now I'm charging some GoPro batteries. I'm sure I'm not the only one that's had problems with the GoPros. I can't, I know that both of mine that I had, this one, the one I broke in the Seychelles, and this one just won't start and then you gotta pull the battery out. And then I was talking to Stu and he had the same issue, so it's obviously a GoPro problem that they're garbage. And with the gloves on, I struggle to turn the camera on all the time. So I miss all kinds of good stuff because when I want to start filming and then I'm mucking about trying to get the stupid camera to start. So let me know if uh, you guys have the same issues with the GoPro. So it's about 10K back into town. It's just before eight. If I can start hiking by 10, I'd be happy. One hour later. Okay, got a little bit of food, snacks for my hike, and some emergency supplies. Got to reorganize that food box. So just gonna head over to the start of the hike, and hopefully uh, before 10, we'll be on the trail. Okay, it's 9.30. Probably take me almost half an hour just to organize my gear and change into everything I need. But let's see how long it actually takes. Not bad, three minutes to change. Now I just gotta throw all this stuff somewhere on the bike. Organize my backpack, so another five to ten minutes, and we'll be on the trail. All right, all squared away. This bike cover comes in super handy to cover up all the stuff, so prying eyes will not just grab them and go. It's 9.55, so let's hit the trail. Not even the slightest bit of respite. It starts off right away super steep. I've hardly come anywhere. I've already climbed like 10,000 meters. So Scaffell Pike is England's highest mountain at 978 meters or 3,209 feet. And I think I'm doing the whole thousand meters in the first kilometer. It's just steep and grueling and straight up. But I've got a pretty waterfall to look at. <sighs> okay, that was 15 minutes or so up the first really steep section. So right off the bat, I've got a great view. And probably about Another five and a half K to go.
Oh, I just made a lot more work for myself. That's the peak over there. And there's a big valley down there. I gotta climb down into the valley and all the way back up again. And where I started from the parking lot, had I not gone right and I gone straight, I would've just come up that valley and then had that one last climb. Now I'm doing a double climb. I picked this route because it was a little bit longer than the shortest route. So I could get a little extra walk in. I didn't plan on doubling my walk or doubling my climb. So I basically have to climb all the way down into that valley and then all the way back up that path to get back to the top. Uh, this is more dangerous than Karen Two Hill. The loose, slippy stuff. And on a steep grade, this is where you slide onto your ass. Okay, I've climbed down to the lake. I was just all the way up there. Now, gotta loop around there and make my way to the top of that plateau. Okay, I've now started my second ascent today. It's just over 3K, it says, and about 600 meters to the top. So, hopefully about an hour and a half or less. I've added an extra, I think, five odd K to my day. Well worth it. Well, since I always start my hike so early and hit the peaks in full cloud, Maybe now that I've started later, I'll actually have a clear peak with a view. peak over there, the right peak this time. Got a slowly ascending route to the ridge and then a gradual path to the actual summit. That's a rare occasion that people are coming down the mountain and I'm still heading up. I don't like it. Looks like it dips down and then one final steep pitch to get to the top as usual so it dips down again the second time never ending down to go back up again super annoying and of course it's the steepest so i've done it i'm standing on top of scaffell pike the highest point in england Everything you see is below me. Even the fake peak that I climbed before. Now it's time for a well-deserved snack before I head down. All right, lucky enough to have a, had a clear view. Finished up my snack and uh, now I'm gonna head back. It's seven kilometers, if I don't make any wrong turns. Okay, back down to the lake. That means I've got three kilometers left. So I came from way up there, hiked all the way down to the lake, went around that big rock there, and then way over there is the peak. I think I'll have finished up the day hiking about 22 something kilometers today. And we're back. So apparently I've done 23 kilometers today and two peaks. Okay, finally got myself all organized. And I'm gonna start heading south for a little bit. I don't even know where I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna cruise along the road for a bit. It's getting fairly late, so hopefully find a spot to pitch the tent. Okay, I've arrived in some place called Dent. 
and I'm in a classic camping site that they have here. Just a big open field. Their camping in England is pretty sad, but it's all I got and it's all I could find, so I'm gonna pop my tent up here and spend the night, and we'll see what tomorrow brings. It's a stampede!